it's not just you. It feels as if everyone knows someone who has a fever, cough, breathlessness, symptoms similar to COVID-19, which just aren't going away as fast as you'd expect. We put up this post last week and it resonated with a stunning number of you, especially from Maharashtra, Delhi, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Gujarat. Many of you asked for more information, so here it is. The government has flagged rising cases linked to H3N2, a subtype of the influenza A virus. A quick crash course of the four A, B, C, D influenza viruses, A and B cause the seasonal flu every year. Some subtypes of the influenza A virus, like H1N1, also known as the swine flu, and H3N2 cause more severe illnesses. Flu seasons dominated by these subtypes are harder, and that's what's happening this year. About half of all inpatients being admitted for severe acute respiratory illness are being found to have influenza A, H3N2, according to the ICMR. Its symptoms are similar to COVID-19, a high fever for two to three days, body aches, fatigue, headaches, throat irritation, and a persistent cough lasting around two weeks. Any other year, H3N2 is not a big deal. It's simply the fever that we dismiss as weather changes. This year, the caseload is higher than usual, high enough for the ICMR and the IMA to issue statements. So the big question, if you're showing symptoms, what should you do? Step one, wear masks, social distance and avoid getting others sick. You know the drill, cover your face, etc. Step two, treat fever and body aches with paracetamol. Drink plenty of fluids and rest up. Remember that H3N2 is self-limiting. This is important, do not take antibiotics like azithromycin, amoxicillin, or levofloxacin. Antibiotics work on bacteria, not viruses. Taking antibiotics will only increase antibiotic resistance, and when you actually need it, they won't work. Also, cough syrups have little benefit and should be used only when coughing is very troublesome. Doctors are noting, and many of you have shared as well, that the coughing bouts are more severe, last longer, are painful, and continue even after all other symptoms have gone. Many are reporting bronchitis, an inflammation of the lining of your lungs' bronchial tubes. If a high fever lasts over a week, or cough lasts over two to three weeks, get tested. Also be prepared for fatigue. Our comments are filled with people saying that the fatigue is way worse than they've had with COVID-19. The ICMR has also flagged other worrying H3N2 fallouts in some small number of cases, seizures, signs of pneumonia, needing oxygen support, or even ICU care. Children can also have an infection in the throat and tonsils caused by bacteria called A. streptococcus. It's painful. They have difficulty in swallowing, there's high fever, but don't panic. There is no unusual surge as such. It is common around this time. Doctors can prescribe the right treatment. We're flagging it in this video because of the common symptoms. A few other viruses are also doing the rounds in India. Again, similar symptoms. In West Bengal, the adenovirus is spreading, especially among children. Same flu-like symptoms such as fever, dryness of throat, and a cough. Another virus doing the rounds in India, and in fact across the world, is the contagious H1N1 virus, also known as swine flu. There is no vaccine to prevent swine flu. It is more threatening than others and can be serious if treatment is delayed. Elderly, infants, pregnant women, and immune deficient people are at a higher risk of contracting swine flu. And again, the symptoms are similar. Fever, cough, body aches, headaches, chills, and fatigue. Punjab is seeing such an outbreak. 29 cases of swine flu were reported till March this year, and of these, six are suspected to have died of the illness. They did have underlying health conditions. All negative COVID-19 tests in India are now being tested for H1N1. So it is flu season all over, and experts have a range of reasons. It could be one, it could also be a combination. Maybe it's the sharp temperature fluctuations. We went from a cold January to the hottest February India has recorded in 122 years. The abnormal heat, along with pollution, is pushing up the allergen count in the air and activating viruses like influenza A. Another significant reason why cases are higher this year is COVID-19. For the last two years, SARS-CoV-2 was the dominating virus, reducing the impact of all other kinds of viruses. So our natural immunity to them dipped. Add to that the relatively low popularity of annual flu vaccine in India, something very common, say, in the US. 
So this year, everything is hitting harder, quite literally. Doctors are reiterating, do not panic and start taking antibiotics or self-medicating. Instead, get tested, get the annual flu shot, drink plenty of fluids, rest up, take a paracetamol if needed, wear a mask, wash your hands, practice cough hygiene and social distancing to prevent further spread. This too shall pass. If this video helped you make sense of why everyone around you is sick, made you feel a little more in control, please like and share it. It will most certainly help a lot of people. Do also make a monetary contribution towards Newsworthy. It keeps us going. You can do so via Razorpay through the QR code on your screen or a link in our Instagram bio. You can also support us through the Super Thanks feature on YouTube below the video. I'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much for your time today.